Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We done that restoration for God's group. Bishop Briscoe for another Tuesday night Bible study. Amen. Amen. We thank God for everyone that's in the house. We thank God for you that's online tonight. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Our series for the month, The Just Shall Live by Faith. Amen. 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 That's where our theme is coming from tonight, The Just for the unjust. Amen. 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 Let's go to the throne of grace. Father, in the awesome mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you for you. We thank you for your son, Jesus, and the shedding of his blood. God, we give you all glory, all praise, and all honor in Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. amen. You know, before we get started, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we get started, I... I our, our base scripture for the month came out of Hebrews 10, 38 and 39, amen, where, where he talked about, amen, he said, of whom, he said, now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Read that again. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man do what? Draw back. My soul shall have no pledge in him. But we are not of them who draw back in unto perdition. perdition. But of them that believe to the saving of souls. Amen. Amen. God said, when you draw back on me, I have no pledge in you. Amen. He said, don't put your hands to the plow looking back. Amen. Amen. He don't want us to remember where we came from. He don't want us. He, in fact, the scripture talks about when you when you get saved, you're a new creature in Christ Jesus. The old man is done away with. He lets us know all through these scriptures that we're no longer to follow the old man. Amen. Amen. Then his old ways. Amen. He wants us to take on the newness of life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So if we operate in the old man. He's telling us that we have to look at our salvation, which is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, salvation is true. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I, I love Romans 8. This is just a prelude to the, to the service tonight. Amen. Write this down. Also, Romans 5, 8 and 9. Amen. Romans 5, 8 and 9. And he talks about it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me get there real quick. Amen. This is just a prelude to our message tonight. Amen. Romans 5, 8 and 9. In Romans 5, 89, and it reads, but God commended his love towards us. Amen. He commended me. He demonstrated his love towards us. When we look in the Bible, we see what Jesus went through. And he said he got the scars in the house of his friends and the things that he went through. Look what he said. But God commended his love towards us in that while we were what? While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified. How are we? What are we now? We are justified. Amen. Justified how? By his blood. And how did we get his blood? We got his blood when we went through the water. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We took on his blood. We, when we went through the water and the man called the name Jesus over you, you took on his blood. He said, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's just a prelude. Let us know where we're coming in with the theme, the just shall live by faith. Amen. Amen. The just shall live. Our, our thought and lesson for tonight is coming out of First Peter. Amen. Uh -huh. So if I would ask you to turn to First Peter, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're gonna we're gonna hit first. We're gonna hit chapter three, four, and five. Just a tidbit in each one. As we when I when I read this here. And went back at the beginning. Peter explained that the church during that time was under three different types of persecution. Three different types of persecution the church was under. Amen. And if, and if you've been anywhere persecuted, if you've been anywhere under persecution, you're in the right place. Amen. Amen. You're, if you're not being persecuted, then you're not you you you're not who you say you are. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because the scripture says what he said. I, I remember years ago reading that, and it always grew my attention. He says, "Offense will come. Offense will come. He won't stop offenses. 
Because the thing is, offenses is what grow us. He said, offense will come. He won't stop it. What I love about Jesus, he said, I always make the way of escape. Amen. Oh, he said, when the floods come in, oh. then I raise up a standard. standard. But I'm not raising up a standard until yeah. after the flood come in. Sure. Thank you. He said, when, when trouble comes, he said, I'll make a way of escape. Yeah. But he's not making a way until it comes. Thank you, Jesus. So I thank God tonight for this series that we in that just shall live by faith. We got to believe in Jesus Christ. That when we look in this Bible, what Jesus went through, he said he got his scars in the house of his friends. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I remember Paul when Paul wanted to thorn, move out of his side, and, my, and Jesus said, My grace is sufficient. I'm not moving it, Paul. I, in, in other words, suck it up. Suck it up. My grace is sufficient. Thank you, Jesus. So I thank God tonight. If you are there, you're going through a persecution, go back and read 1 Peter. When you read 1 Peter, they said this book was designed to let the church know that, they, that the church was under three different types of persecutions. I thank God for noonday, because a lot of times at noonday we take time to break things down. We research things and we bring it out what was going on at the time that the scriptures was written. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So when I went back and I was studying it, but why did Peter write the things that he wrote? And he wrote them because the church was going through a persecution. And a lot of times your persecution is where? In your house. In your house. In the house. Mm -hmm. But it's there to grow you. It grows you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You can't run away from persecution. No. Persecution. Offense. Will come. Will come. The Bible says shall come. Will come. Shall come. Shall come. Offense Amen. shall and shall makes it a promise. Amen. It shall come. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go over to Peter. We're going into first Peter tonight, chapter three. And we're gonna start with verse 13 and 22. You that take a note, we're gonna do first Peter chapter 3, 13 and 22. We're gonna deal with chapter 4, 17 through 19, and chapter 5. Verses 5 through 10. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The, for, the, for the thought tonight, the just for the unjust. Mm -hmm. The just shall live by faith. Amen? Amen? And I thank God the way the bishop wore that out on Sunday. Oh, he, he, he talks about the, the, these three, the love, hope, and charity. And we know the scripture said the greatest of these is charity, which is love. Yeah. But the scripture also said it's impossible mm -hmm. to please, please God. God. Without faith. He gave us a measure of faith so we could do what? Please him. Please him. Please him. Amen. For he said, for the just shall live by faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. First Peter 3, verses 13 through 22. Read, brother. As the Bible reads. And it reads. And who is he that will harm I like you? this. Before you go real far with that, that my subtitle here says, Suffering and Rewards. You don't get rewards until you suffer the while. Come on, man. You know, everybody wants the wants, wants, wants the, the rewards of Christ. Everybody wants the, the benefits of Christ. But this is a suffering way. Amen. That's why Jesus said, do what? Arm yourself. Likewise. To suffer. suffer. Amen. Put up with some things. Put up with some whatever going on. Put Come up. On. Deal with some stuff. Come on. Lord, have mercy. Thank yeah. you. Come on. 13 verse read what now? And the Bible reads. Uh-huh. And who is he? And who is he? That excuse me, who and who is he that will harm you? Do what? That will harm you. Take it personal. That will harm you. Come on, read. If ye be followers of that which is good, he's saying if you follow that which is good. And I remember Jesus said, "There is nothing, no one good but the Father." If you look what it says, and who is he? That will harm you yeah. if you be followers of that which is good. Yeah. Um, you, you, you might as well prepare yourself to be harmed. Right. Come on right. now. Right. This, this scripture I closed it out the first Sunday with. Wow. The first Sunday I, I, I almost forgot and I had to go back and get it at the end of the message. Come on, read. But, mm -hmm. and if ye suffer Look for righteousness' Look sake. Here. But, mm. <laughs> Come on, y'all. But if you suffer for righteousness' sake, look what it says. Happy are ye. He said, blessed are you. If you suffer for righteousness' sake, blessed are you. Come on, read. And be not afraid. Come on, be not afraid. 
of their terror. Don't be afraid of their terror. Ne neither be troubled. Don't be troubled. Let people say what they're going to say. Let people do what they're going to do. God says, and if I look at my subtitle, he said, after you don't suffer a while, here come the rewards. It is like the man said here the other night. He said, the bishop done been through some things. He done been through some people talking about it. He done been through some people leaving it. He done been through. And then when you stand up here and, 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 and the man of God just bless you. Amen. He blessed you what? After you done suffered some things. Amen. After you done been through some things. After you done dealt with some people leaving you. After you done been through some people talking about you. Right, and right. then God says, I'll reward you. Amen. I'll reward you. God, you got that's why the scripture talks about that you gotta go to the end of the thing. To, to see what the end will be. Come on, look. Uh-huh. But Fifth, sanctify. 15 verse, and look what it says. But do what? Put set, set apart. But sanctify. But sanctify the Lord God in your heart. Look at this here. But set apart the Lord God in your heart. And be ready always to give an answer. And be ready always to give an answer. To every man. To every man. That asks of you. That answers you. A reason <coughs> of the hope that is in you. Uh -huh. With meekness Ooh. and fear. How am I to give it? With meekness and fear. With kindness. Meekness means kindness. Yeah. Answer every man kindness <laughs> and fear. Wow. But kindness. I got when you say something to me, I, I gotta come back to you with kindness. With kindness. And he said, if I come back to you with kindness, it's because of fear. Because God said judgment's gonna start where? In the house. In the house. At his house. Yes. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Look what it says. Read. Having a good conscience. Having a good conscience. That Whereas they speak evil of you. Come on now, you don't have people speaking evil of you. Oh, nah, okay. come on, you don't have nobody. You don't have nobody running you down. Yeah, you don't yeah. have nobody talking about you. Nah, you, 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 you just goody goody all the time. You can be as good as you want. Somebody gonna find some reason to talk about you. Somebody gonna find some reason to talk about your husband, your wife. Some people will find some reason. To Talk about your car you drive. Right. Some people gonna throw a rock at your house and break your window. Some people gonna find some reason or another yes. Woo! Yes. to come after you. Yes. Mm. So. Oh, so. Come on, wait, 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 read that again. Whereas uh -huh. they speak evil of you uh -huh. as of evil doors. As an evil door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they may be ashamed that falsely accuse. Your good Ooh. conversations in Christ. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He says, in answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Having what? A good, a good conscience. conscience. Uh-huh. That whereas they speak evil of you. With they, 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 somebody. Somebody gonna speak evil of you. Yeah. Somebody ain't gonna like your shoes. Uh -huh. Somebody ain't gonna like your outfit. Uh -huh. Somebody ain't gonna like your do. Somebody right. ain't gonna like something. So they gonna speak evil. It's, in other words, it's not gonna be complimentary. Say so. It, 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 but you got to let that thing go ahead by. Mm -hmm. Because God, at the end of your suffering, He's got a reward for you. Amen. Lord, Thank but you. see, the thing is, you got to let it go. If you can't let it go, you're gonna deal with that one again. Like, it's like water, they always talk about the water's on the duck back. Well, water just run off, just run off the top. Amen. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Look where we at now. We're at 16. Whereas they speak evil of you, uh -huh. evil doors, they may be ashamed. They look at when you don't let when you don't let that thing get to you, they'll become ashamed. Mm. Oh, no. mm. Lord have mercy. The devil said, I hit him with my best shot. Right, right. And it didn't bother him. Lord Amen. have mercy. What am I gonna do next? Amen. But that's why the scripture says that the just shall live by faith. We got to believe this word. See, one thing about it, you can't walk around and tell everybody, I love the Bible. I love the Bible. I believe everything it says. All right, here come testing. Here it come. Here it come. Here come testing. Testing time is coming. One thing about testing, it will come. Just like offense, offense, shut up. Thank you, Jesus. Read. If they speak evil of you as uh -huh. evil doers, uh -huh. they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good com conversation in Christ. Look at it. They, they, they'll falsely accuse your good conduct in Christ. It, it, they didn't die for you. You ain't got to worry about them. 
That's it. They they gonna yeah. do what they gonna do. They gonna they whatever they've been doing is like Peter. Peter always was outspoken. So Jesus didn't didn't have to work after being with Peter for two years. See, at the end of the three and a half years, Jesus knew Peter would always have something to say. Uh -huh. And then you got those that always gonna have something to say. Right. That that's their makeup. On, that's their makeup. That's 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 who they are on, until man. Christ changes them. Hey. Don't worry about people. Don't worry about the thing. The just shall live by faith, by this word of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Where we at? For it is better, verse 17. For, for it is better. Look at this here. For it is better. If the will of God be so. It is better for the will of God be so. That ye suffer for well doing. Come on. Woo. Lord, have mercy. He said, it is better. I gotta go back and get that. For it is better if the will of God be so that you suffer for well doing than for evil doing. In, in other words, he said suffering gonna come. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. He said, but it's better if you suffer for the will of the, the will of God than being an evil doer. Because he said, suffering going to come. Yeah. It's, it's a part of your growth. It's a part, It's like fertilizer around a plant. Uh -huh. Now, if you want a plant to really grow and really get a good harvest off of it, make the ground real soft, till it up real good, mm. but you got to put a little fertilizer around it. Yeah, I remember there in the scripture when Jesus went to this tree that didn't have no fruit on it, mother. Yes, and the gardener said, let me do what? Let me dung around. Let me dig. Let me, first of all, he said, let me dig. Yeah. Let me dig around it yeah. and put a little no. dung around it. Now, see, y'all might not know what dung is, but it's the stuff they shovel out of the hub and right. out of the chicken pound right. and out of the hub, out of the cow stalls. He said, let me dig around it and dung it for a year. And if it don't bring forth fruit, then you can shoot it down. Lord have mercy. Some of you gonna have some of you have to deal with something for a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and God is looking for your fruit to come out of that. Mm -hmm. He's looking for fruit to come out of that. He's not looking for you to die in it. Mm -hmm. He's not looking for it to kill you. He's looking for that it will come, that fruit will come out of that thing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Look at it. Read that again. That was 17. For it is better uh -huh. if the will of God if the will of God be so. Be so. Look at it. That, mm -hmm. that ye suffer. That you suffer. For well doing. For well doing. Than for evil doing. Than for evil doing. Uh huh. For Christ. Look at this here. For Christ also has once suffered. Stop right there. Christ has also once suffered. That's why Christ told you to do what? Arm yourself. Likewise, to do what? It's not to live high. Not to live in a big house and a fine car. Not to have plenty of food on the table. He said to arm yourself likewise to suffer. Mm -hmm. At the end of your suffering, God has got a blessing reward for you. Amen. Thank you Lord. That's why I said back in 14, but if if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are you. He said blessed are you. <laughs> if you suffer for righteousness sake, blessed are you. Lord have mercy. Thank See, I, 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 at the end of when we did this on the first Sunday, I couldn't get all of this in. This was the last scripture. I had to go back and get just a piece of it. But I thank God for Tuesday. Amen. Amen. I thank God for Tuesday. I can get it out of me now. <laughs> thank God for Tuesday. He didn't let me get it all out on first Sunday. But he let me get it out on the last Tuesday. Amen. On the fourth of Tuesday, he let me get it out. Amen. 17, read again and then go forward. For it is better. Uh huh. If the will of God be so, it is better if the will of God be so that ye suffer that you suffer well doing for well doing than for evil doing than for evil doing. Read for Christ also has once suffered for Christ sin. Is, I like this. He said Christ has also suffered how many times? Once, once for sin, for sin, once for sin. He see, he took our suffering and took it to the cross. Yes. He took all of our sins. Yes. And the, the, those that talked about you, and you know, it's a funny thing. Uh -huh. Those are funny things. When I look at Jesus, he died for you, he died for me, he died for the one to put the crown of thorns on his head, he, he died for the one that spit on him, Whew. he died for the one that pierced him in his side, he died for the one that whipped him with them 30 some stripes, he died for every, he said, Jesus said he suffered once for sin, he died for, he died for Peter, when Peter said, I don't know the man, it's 
started cursing. And he looked back at me. He said, Peter, that's all right. I'm going to die for you today. I'm going to die for you. Have you, the thing that me, have you died for anybody lately? No. Or have you taken offense? Have you died to anybody lately? Have you died? Have that old man in you died lately? Come on, man. Amen. Or is it yet still alive? Oh, it might, you know, if you pluck me on the right shoulder, everything in me might come back. But, oh, we ain't finished. Come on, come on, read for it. Come on, read for it. Come on. See, see, you don't know what's in a man until you pluck him right. You pluck him right, that, that, that old man may rise up. Woo! And see, but if you don't rise up, God says, I know you don't grow up. Woo! When you don't rise up, when you don't act up, Christ said, I know you don't grow up. Come on, read the book. Ooh, look what 18 says. Read 18. He also has once suffered for Christ sin. also once suffered for sin. The just for Ooh. the unjust. Look at this here. He said he say here, he said that Jesus was just. And he died for every last one of us. He died for the spittle. Mm -hmm. He died for the pulling out of his beard. He died for the man that nailed him to the cross. Yes. He died for, for, for the man that told him he was going to crucify him. He died for the man that whipped him with the stripes. Yeah. Yeah. He died for the man that put the crown of thorns on yeah. him. He cried for he died for the man that gave him the sponge with vinegar on it. Yes, he, he, died, he died for everything that came up against him. When when Judas kissed him with a kiss of death, he died for Judas. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Have we died for anybody lately? Have we died? Have we taken our flesh off the altar yet? Have we taken, have we, have, have we surrendered to God yet? Mm. Ooh, or is the old man still rising up in us? Have we died for anybody lately? Have we said, brother, so I'm, I'm, I forgive you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you, you know, I know, you, you, you know, oh, that mercy. Come on, read, read from me. The just uh -huh. for the unjust uh -huh. that he might bring us to God. That, look at this here. The just died for the unjust that he might bring us to God. It's Jesus' pleasure to present us to God. Amen. Jesus' whole purpose in dying is to present us to God. We are his fruits. We are his bridegroom. We are everything in the Jesus. And Jesus died to be able to present us to God. God. Come on, read. Being put to death in the flesh. Look at it. He was put to death out in the flesh. And he died in, in the flesh. For anything lately, mm. being put to death where? In the flesh. Or is flesh still raising up? My goodness. Woo. Look at this thing. Well, what are we doing with flesh tonight? Have, have we got flesh under subjection yet? Or is flesh still having its way? Huh? What are we doing with flesh? Look what he said about Jesus. He said that, 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 that he said being put to death in the flesh, read. Mm -hmm. Being put to death in the flesh. Uh-huh. But Saul was acting up. Right. He knew he was going to become Paul. Mm. 
Thank you for using. And what else? He said, look what was it? Sometimes we're disobedient. Sometimes we're when disobedient. The, when once the long suffering of God uh -huh. waited. And look, look what he said. He said that God waited. God waited, long suffering, waited on us. He waited in the days of Noah. He waited before telling people, get right. Get right, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Get right. And Noah is saying, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. And the people, giving people time. Right. Giving people time to get right. Mm -hmm. Giving us time to get. I thank God for time. Thank for his long Lord. suffering. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Because they have always been in, in obedience. Thank he you. said, sometimes we're then, well, sometimes we're disobedience. Yes. yes. When, go ahead, read. when once the long suffering of God uh -huh. waited in the days of Noah. Waited in the days of Noah. While the ark was a, a preparing. While the ark was being prepared. Wherein few, uh -huh. that is, eight souls, eight souls were saved by water. Only eight souls got saved in that whole time that Noah's preaching. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. Only eight souls got saved. My God. They didn't believe God. Oh, have mercy. They didn't believe God. Read. The, the like figure. I like this. The like figure. Whereunto, mm -hmm. even baptism. Yes. Do also now save us. Uh, now save us. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. But, you, but he wants you to put it away. But it's not just the putting away of the filth of the flesh. But the answer of a good conscience towards God. But the answer of a good conscience towards God. Huh? By the resurrection of Jesus Christ. By the Christ. resurrection of Jesus Christ. Read. Who has gone into heaven. Who has gone into heaven. And is on the right hand of God. And on the right hand of God. Angels and Angel. authority. Mm -hmm. And powers being made. Subject unto him. Amen. Amen. Thank go to go to First Peter chapter four. Uh -huh. Right there where we are. Amen. Seventeen and nineteen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Amen. Over. Thank you, God. Yes, sir. We got it. Seventeen. Seventeen. For the time is coming that judgment must I like begin. This. I like. Look what it said. For the time is come. Read. For the time is coming, I mean, excuse me, for the time has come uh -huh. that judgment must begin that at the house of God. God said, look at here, the time will come. Yes. The time will come. That judgment will start, will begin at the house of God. He, yes. said, I, he said, how can I judge the world if I don't judge my own yeah. people first? Amen. Huh? Mm. He, he said, how can I go there and judge the sinner Jesus. if I don't judge the, my own people first? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, read the book. He says, "For the time has come uh -huh. that judgment must begin at the house of God. Uh -huh. And if it first begins at us, if, ooh, if it first begins where at us, at us, at us. At and us. see that's why I like that first scripture when he talked about he that draw back, hmm. that God has no pleasure in him when we draw back. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank. Come on, read the what he says here now. Uh huh." So, and if it first begin at us, mm -hmm. what shall the end be of them? What shall the end be of them if that it starts with us? That obey no. not the gospel of God. Mm -hmm. Read. And if the righteous, look at this, if the righteous, if you that have come and got saved, yeah. you that repented, baptized in Jesus' name, Holy Ghost, if the righteous, yeah. if the righteous scarcely be saved, Ooh. if the righteous scarcely be saved, well, she, where where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Praise God. Where should they appear? If the righteous, he's saying righteous is scarcely because he know. He know that we still are in this flesh. He know that we still walk in this shoe yeah. He know that we struggle with this thing that, that's on that, that, that we carry around every day. Mm -hmm. The flesh man. Mm -hmm. He know that we struggle with this man. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Look what he said. Verse, verse 19. Uh-huh. Wherefore? Mm -hmm. Let them, let them, let them that suffer. Let them that do what? Let them that suffer. But people don't want to suffer nowadays. No. They want it on a flower bed. I want a, I want a, I want a, a cushy job. So, I don't want no dirty job. I, I, I want a nice fine house, and I don't even want to clean it. I want somebody else to take care of it for me. So, I, I want, I want, I want pretty meals on my table every day. I don't even want to cook. Let somebody cook it for me. So, I, 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 
I want my children to ride in nice cars. I don't want them to have to ride the, the, the county buses. I, 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 I want all of this. I want all of this. But he says, wherefore, let them that suffer. Go ahead. That suffer according to the will of God. According to the will of God. Commit the keeping of their souls wait to him. Wait a minute. Keeping of their souls. Oh, wait, I missed that word. Commit the keeping mm -hmm. of their souls where? To him. To him. In well doing. In what kind of doing? Well, well doing. In well doing. What did he say? Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Well done. See, God wanted, Jesus wanted to call us, well done, thy good and faithful servant. But he don't want us out there doing everything we've been doing. Right. He don't want us saying everything. He don't want us drawing back. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He says again, but it says 19, and it says, wherefore, wherefore, let them that suffer, let them that suffer, according to the will of according God, according to the will of God, commit the keeping of their souls keep to the, him, keeping the, the, commit the keeping of their souls to him, in well doing, in well doing, as unto a faithful creator, as unto a faithful creator, you ain't got to turn, we at chapter 5, yeah. amen, verses what, 5 and 10, read right there, likewise, Woo! wait a minute, Wait a minute. He said what? Likewise. Likewise. All right. He's talking about. He done talked about somebody else, but now he's gonna talk about us. Mm -hmm. See, first he started chapter five talking about the elder, but now after he talked about the elder, he said now likewise. See, a lot of time you want the preacher to walk. Y'all want the preacher to walk blameless. Help me out, man. You a pastor. Uh -huh. You a preacher. Uh -huh. You a minister. Uh -huh. uh, you a deacon. Uh -huh. Hey, you you can't make no mistakes. Uh -huh. You you all of that. But I can live like I want to live. I can say what I want to say. I want to go where I want to go. No. Uh, uh, uh. No. There's no difference between you and the deacon and the, and the minister and the evangelist and the pastors and whatever. Once you come to Christ, he wants all of us to walk circumspectly. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's for all of us to walk according to the will of God. Not good. But see, you want to you point fingers. You the bishop. Bishop. You the minister. All right. I'm the minister. You the evangelist. All right. I know that. But who are you? Come on. <laughs> you a son or a daughter of God? You, there's no difference. Jesus Christ, when he said, when I got finished, I got nothing to give him but the same thing. He said at the end of their labor, he said, I paid every man. I paid every man according Come on now, read what he said. Where Likewise. We Where we at? We're going to Verse five. Five, five. five. All right. Where we Likewise. At? Likewise. Ye younger. Ooh, oh, young. You you youngsters. You youngers. Uh-huh. Likewise, you younger. Uh-huh. Submit yourselves unto the elder. Submit yourselves unto the elder. Uh-huh. And it don't always mean the preacher. No. It means that those that, that send you to you. Amen. Yeah. Submit yourself. And nobody likes that word, submit. Uh -huh. Nobody likes that word. Right, right. See, when I, when we was on the little talk show the other day with our daughters, and they asked the two fathers, or asked a couple, was there one, one scripture that you could give to the audience that would bless their marriage, that would be a blessing in their marriage? And I gave them the scripture here. Read, 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 read again. He likewise, said, likewise, ye younger, uh -huh. submit yourselves unto the elders. Uh -huh. Yea, uh -huh. all of you be subject one to another. I gave the scripture that says we all submit one to another. See, a lot of times men want women to submit, but they're not submitted. But the scripture said we all should submit one to another. And I said, her, this is what makes a marriage work. Sometimes she's right, sometimes he's right. So, but it's not always one-sided. So we learn to submit one to another. Amen. We, sometimes we take her idea, sometimes we take his Amen. idea. Amen. But we submitting one to another for what? To keep peace. Amen. Uh -huh. To keep peace. Come we on. gotta submit one to Come another. On. Read that again, oh. younger. Gotcha. Gotcha. Likewise, ye younger, uh -huh. submit yourselves unto the elder. Uh-huh. Ye, mm -hmm. ye, all of you be subject one to another. Uh-huh. And be clothed with humility. Be clothed how? With humility. With humility. For God mm. resisted the proud. God resisteth the proud. And giveth grace uh -huh. to the humble. And give grace to the humble. Read. 
Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, Ooh, that he may exalt you in due God said, time. humble yourself under the mighty hand that he may exalt you where? In due season. Read. Casting all your cares upon Cast him. Cast all your cares upon him. For he cares for, for you. For he cares for you. Read. Be sober. Be sober. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, Ooh, the devil. Your adversary, the devil, do not sleep. He don't go home and lay down. He don't eat turkey and fall asleep. Mm -hmm. He's always on his J-O-B. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Read. Your adversary, the devil. The, the adversary, the devil. As a roaring lion. Uh-huh. Walketh about. Uh-huh. Seeking whom he may devour. What is he doing? He's walking about. He's going about to see whether you got a crack in your door or whether you got a crack in your arm. Right. He's trying to get there to do what? To create chaos Whoa. in your relationships. Where in it at home. On the job, on, at the man. church, in the, in the supermarket. Come he on, wants on. you to act up. Yeah. He wants you to say things. He just wants you to behave, Come misbehave. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. The adversary, the devil. Come on, read. Mm -hmm. As a roaring lion. Uh -huh. Walking about. Walking about. Seeking whom he may devour. He's looking for somebody to devour. He's looking for you tonight. When you leave out here tonight, you might get mad before you get up to church. You might get mad as soon as I get off this podcast. As soon as we get off this night, you might be upset with somebody. He's walking about seeking who he may devour. No. I made it clean, but I love to say it another way. But anyway, that's the way the Bible said. He wants to upset you. I, I wanna, I, I wanna make it street for you, but we can't make it. Street. Well, you can understand it. Amen. Come on, read. Who resisted steadfast? Who resisted steadfast in the faith? Uh huh. Knowing that the same afflictions mm -hmm. are accomplished in your brother that are in the world. Now you got to read that again because see people got to pick that up. He said to whom resisted resist. I mean, excuse me, resist. resist uh huh. Steadfast. Uh huh. In the faith. He said now you resist in the faith. Uh huh. You act the way you act in the faith. Read knowing knowing that the same afflictions that the same afflictions are accomplished. In your brother. In your brother. That are in the world. He's saying that you know respect the person. What happened? If you want to see what you'll go through in life, look at the world. Amen. If they going through it, you going through it. God said, uh-huh. You this thing molds you. Mm -hmm. If the world being talked about, you being talked about. Uh -huh. If the world being called nasty name, you gonna get called nasty name. Who do you think you are? God says, yeah. suffer. Yeah. Arm, yourself. Arm yourself likewise to suffer. Yeah. Uh huh. He said here at the top of that scripture, he says suffering and rewards. Amen. They come together. That's why I tell people the scripture says that, that if you can't handle persecution, then he can't give you the blessing. That's right. Because he said, I'll never give you more than you can bear. Amen. And if he knows you can't ride in a Cadillac without people talking about you, he can't give you a Cadillac. <laughs> if he knows that you can't stand to be living in a mansion because somebody says the truck dealers gave it to you. They don't uh -huh. talk about it. He can't give you. He can't give you the mention because you can't handle the persecution. But he said, with the blessings come persecution. With the blessings, now everybody wants God's blessing, right. but they don't want the persecution. Right, right. But they come together. They're like twins. Everybody wants the blessing. Nobody wants the persecution. Everybody wants the blessing. Nobody wants to be talked about. Everybody wants the blessing. But they don't want nobody to mention anything to them or say something to them. Read so we can close up. We gotta go. Help us out. Uh-huh. But the God of all grace. But the who? But the God of all grace. Who has called us into his eternal glory. Uh-huh. By Christ Jesus. Uh-huh. After that you have suffered a while. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He says, now the God of all grace. Uh-huh. Who has called us uh -huh. under his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. You can say through Christ Jesus. Look what it says. After that. After that you uh, have woo, suffered a while. Wait a minute. After you've been called. Uh -huh. After you've been saved. Here's the next thing coming. After you get saved. Uh -huh. He said after you've been saved through Christ Jesus. Yeah. He said the next thing is what? You have, and after that. After that. You have suffered a while. Ooh, My Lord. Mm. <laughs> Not before. See a lot of people want to get saved. Right, right. But they don't want the suffering that's gonna come after right, If right. you tell them, hey, you know, if you come in here, repent and get saved, baptized in Jesus' name and all that, you your life ain't nothing gonna happen in your life yeah. You just lie to them. Yes. You lie big time to them. Yes. Thank you. Look, look what it says here. Read that again. He said, But the God but the, of all grace. But the God of all 
grace. Who has? Who has called us into his eternal has glory. called us into his eternal glory. By Christ Jesus. Or through Christ Jesus. Read. After that. After that. Ye have suffered a while. After that ye have suffered a while. Make you perfect. When, after you have suffered a while. Yes. Makes you perfect. After you have suffered a while. Makes you perfect. Read. Makes you perfect. Make you perfect. Establish. Make, make you establish. Strip them. Then it makes you strip you. And settle you. Now you tell them after you have suffered a while. Yeah. After you have suffered a while. My Lord. And we don't know how long God's a while is. Amen. We, we, we don't know after ye have suffered a while. You know, sometimes God's a while. God's long with it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> you want a while to be one day, mm. one hour, <laughs> one second. You need to apologize to me. You need to do this and you need to do that. God might make make me ten years before they apologize. My goodness. And you upset at him. You upset with him for the next ten That's years. That's good, Bishop. You upset for the next ten years. Oh. See, this, see, but the just shall oh. live by faith. Knowing that God's gonna turn this thing around amen, for you one day. Amen. One day. Amen. One day. He didn't say which day. That's right. One day. But in the meantime, he said, if you suffer, I'll bless you. Amen. I got rewards for you. Amen. That's why I love that. He said, but the God of all grace. Uh -huh. Who have called you unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after uh -huh. that you have suffered a while. Uh -huh. Makes you perfect. Makes you establish you. Strengthens you. And then the last thing he says, and he does what? Settle he settles you. Settle down. Settle. Father, in the also mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you for you. We thank you for yes. your son, God. Thank God, you. we give you all glory, all honor, and all praise. God, somebody needed this tonight. Yes. So we thank that it was good seed that fell in good ground, God. Now bring forth, bring forth harvest out of it. In Jesus' name we pray and we say amen, amen. and amen. amen. Thank amen. you, God. Amen. We give God the glory. Amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus.